The world is a book, and those who do not travel read only a page. Never will they return to the path. Now let me talk about the canon of scripture. What is the canon of scripture? Canon comes from a Greek word, kanon, meaning a rule or measuring stick. In other words, we might say, what collection of Bible books do we accept as authoritative? For the Old Testament, we look to the 39 books of the Masoretic text in Hebrew. For the New Testament, in Greek, we look to the 27 books which were accepted as of divine origin by about 350 years after Jesus. Numeric patterns are God's signature. They prove the text is supernatural. They show what shouldn't be there. That was the voice of Bible scholar John Newton out of Australia. And this is his website, Living Greek New Testament verifying the original Bible text. He writes, We look beneath the plain text. Every letter of the Greek alphabet has a numeric value. This means that the Greek text of the New Testament may also be seen as a mathematical document. We believe that this study of the underlying design provides verification of the original text. We also read, we are grateful to Dr. Alan Bunning of the Center for New Testament Restoration for the work done to identify the original Greek text of the New Testament. There is no better place for anyone to start these studies than with an examination of the Center website. So according to these Bible scholars, Dr. John Newton and Dr. Alan Bunning, there are verses that are not supposed to be in the Bible, so they remove them. If we go to the Resources tab here on the Living Greek New Testament website and click on Verses of the Bible in the drop menu and scroll down, we see that they have a total for the Old Testament 23,144 verses. Scrolling down a bit further, they have 7,938 verses for the New Testament, giving the Bible a total of 31,082 verses. For the Old Testament, it says, We believe that the manuscript called the Westminster Leningrad Codex, the text verified by the Allen Grove Center for Advanced Biblical Research, is the correct version of the Old Testament Hebrew writing. The text has 23,144 verses. Scrolling down a bit further, for the New Testament, it says, We believe that the original Greek writing is represented in a text verified by Dr. Alan Bunny of the Center for New Testament Restoration. Dr. Bunning has examined every one of the 193 most ancient manuscripts and has concluded that 19 verses found in the King James Bible were late additions to the original writing. Scrolling down a bit further, the Bible overall, it says, the King James Bible has 31,102 verses. Our verified original text has 31,082 verses. The difference is 20 verses. Removing even a single verse destroys a powerful connection we find in the King James Bible. Let's get to it. 
the 399th verse of the Bible, where the Lord appeared to Abraham, Genesis chapter 17 verse 1, the 400th verse of the Bible, where the Lord establishes an everlasting covenant with Abraham, Genesis chapter 17 verse 2. From the point where the Lord establishes his everlasting covenant with Abraham all the way to the last verse of the Bible is a total of 30,703 verses. Drop the zeros, 373. That's the divine word. That's the logos. The Lord's everlasting covenant with Abraham established on the divine word. What else did they destroy? From the first verse of the Bible up to the 399th verse where the Lord appeared to Abraham to the 400th verse where he establishes an everlasting covenant with Abraham connecting to the divine word, the Logos, 373. If we drop the zeros, 1 plus 399 plus 4 plus 373 equals 777. If we take chapter 17 verse 1 and chapter 17 verse 2 and add them as whole numbers, 171 plus 172, we get 343, which equals 7 times 7 times 7. What else did they destroy? If we take the numbers 1, 399, 4, and 373 and reduce them down, we get 1344. 4. 13 times 44 equals 572. 572 is at the 3168 digit of the golden ratio. 3168 is the Greek for Lord Jesus Christ. If we take 572 and add it to 3168, we get 3740. 37 times 40 equals 1480, which is the Greek for Christos, Christ. One plus 344 equals 345. Behold, the angel said, O Mary, Allah gives you good news of a word from him. Logos, a word from him. His name will be Christ Jesus. Speaking of good news, look at the initial letters of the four Gospels, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John, MMLJ. 4431 four, in reverse 1344 four. 13 times 44 572 at the 3168 digit golden ratio take 345 and add it to its reverse 543 and you get 888 do you see how the divine word the logos extends over to the arabic text of the quran check this out the everlasting covenant was established on the divine word, Logos. If we take the Bibles 32,291 for chapters and verses, and the Quran's 6,350 for chapters and verses, and reduce those numbers down, we get 5,368. 5 plus 368 is 373, the Logos. Let's look at the Bible and the Quran again. The Bible for chapters and verses, 32,291. The Quran for chapters and verses, 6,350. 32,291 plus 6,350 equals 38,641. 38 plus 641 equals 679. And 679 is at the 98th decimal digit of Pi. The 98th chapter of the Quran is called al Bayina. The evidence, 679 plus 98 equals 777, triple seven perfection. There are three key words in the first verse of the Hebrew Bible, Elohim HaShemaim HaAretz, God, the heaven, the earth, in Hebrew, which equals 777. Dr. John Newton's version of the New Testament has 7,938 verses. If we lift 7,938 from 38,641 chapters and verses of the King James Bible and Quran, 
we get 30,703, which verifies the Lord's everlasting covenant with Abraham established on the divine logos. He was not supposed to remove the verses, he was only supposed to lift them to see what it unveils. So by lifting 20 verses from the King James Bible, we get a total of 32,271. 32 plus 271 equals 303, and 303 is the grace name of Abraham. Standard 248, Ordinal 41, Reduce 14, which equals 303. And 32,271 is built in the first chapter of the Quran. So as you can see, this Bible code 32,271 found by Dr. John Newton is encoded in the Quran's greatest chapter, Al-Fatiha, the opener. What you see here are my original paintings, which are also the cover design for my book. Hidden in this cover design are the codes which total 38,641, the number for both the Bible and the Quran, authenticated by Abraham. If we take these codes and add them by single digit, we get 139. Did you know that the grace name of Abraham, the founder of the faith, occurs 139 times in the Hebrew text? Did you know that the greatest chapter of the Quran, Al-Fatiha, meaning the opener, is built on 139 letters? If you add all the chapters in the Quran that make 139, as you see below, it gives 1938. And if you take the verses that belong to those chapters, it gives 1998, which is the chapter called Maryam in the Quran. 1452 plus 1998 equals chapter 3 verse 45. Mary receives good news of a word from him. 1452 plus 1938 equals chapter 3 verse 39. John confirms that word as being true. The front cover core is 171. The back cover core is 37. 171 plus 37 equals 208, which is the standard value for the name Agron, times the body, 38,641 equals 8,037,328. 8 plus 37 plus 328 equals 373, the Logos. Numeric patterns are God's signature. They prove the text is supernatural. 777, sealed by the king.